Okay, we're here. It's primary day and across Kansas and Missouri voters will head to the polls to make their voices heard on a number of hotly contested races and issues. Yeah, polls just opened in Missouri so you can head to your local precinct now. Uh, we still have just under an hour before most polls open in Kansas. Now in both of our states, polls close at 7 o'clock tonight. As long as you're in line though, don't worry, you will be allowed to cast your vote. In Missouri, one of the biggest items on the ballot involves the race for U.S. Senate. Democratic, Republican and Independent candidates are all vying for their party's nomination to take over for retiring Senator Roy Blunt. The winner of each party's primary will square off then in the general election this November. Uh, former President Donald Trump, he gave his endorsement uh, for Missouri's GOP Senate candidate yesterday. Sort of. It's not clear who he picked because he simply endorsed ERIC in all caps. Former President released this statement uh, saying that he's proud to announce ERIC has his complete and total endorsement. Kind of have to split the pot a little bit, though, because Missouri Attorney General Eric Schmidt claimed the endorsement, saying he's the best choice for the seat because of his record. Former Missouri Governor Eric Greitens also claimed it, calling himself the true MAGA champion. Who's the real conservative in the race? Because a lot of people will tell you everything you want to hear. But if you look at the record, it's very clear who the choice is here. In the United States Senate, I am going to call out the rhino corruption and cowardice. Yes. And it's about time that we did. Last month, former president said that he would not endorse Harrisonville Congresswoman Vicki Hartzler, uh, who poked fun at the Eric endorsement simply by saying, congrats to Eric McElroy. He's having a big night. If you didn't know, Eric McElroy is the third Republican running for U.S. Senate in Missouri. Third Eric on the Republican yeah. side, excuse me. Primary day in Kansas means a constitutional amendment is on the ballot. A primary is usually only drawing about 35% of voters. This one likely will bring out many more. Yeah, but it also brings out questions, especially after a text message some Kansas voters received yesterday. Let's go to KNBC 9's Rebecca Gannon, who can break all of this down and kind of meet through the confusion. Rebecca. And there is a lot of that today, Donna. We are here at the Johnson County Arts and Heritage Center off of 87th and Metcalf. And this is expected to bring out a lot of people today. It's one of the busier polling places. We expect a lot of people to come out, but a lot of them have a lot of questions after something that came through on their phones yesterday. Now go ahead and take a look. Many Kansas voters received this text yesterday. It reads women in KS are losing their choice on reproductive rights. Voting yes on the amendment will give women a choice. Let's just break it down. That is not true. And the bigger thing is here, it's perfectly legal for that text to be sent out. Texts on constitutional amendments like this one don't have to have any sort of disclosure about who sent them or who paid for them. That came from an 888 number. And the Kansas Governmental Ethics Commission says back in 2004, go ahead and read their words, the commission specifically addressed this question and noted that nothing in the Campaign Finance Act, as you read there, addresses the use of mis leading advertising. Now, I just tweeted out the whole thread you can find it on my Twitter feed. And I think Donna retweeted it as well. So if you want to see the details for yourself, just go to Twitter. Now, let's talk and change for a second here. Let's talk about what the amendment really does truly mean. So go ahead. Back in 2019, the Kansas Supreme Court ruled abortions were protected by the Constitution. Take a look at this graphic that we built for you. The value them both amendment vote is in response to that ruling back in 2019. A yes vote that you see on your screen gives the power to about 165 state lawmakers to pass new restrictions on abortion. And keep in mind, there are many restrictions already in place on the books in Kansas. Now, opponents of the value them both yes vote they say this would lead to a potential ban. An audio leaked from a Republican meeting in Hutchinson earlier this year confirms it. So on that graphic you're seeing a no vote means the Constitution for the state of Kansas stays as it is and therefore it maintains the legal precedent that abortion is constitutionally protected in Kansas. Now you do not have to be affiliated with either pro any party. Actually, there's about five of them. You don't have to be affiliated with any political party to vote on this amendment today. Go to your local polling place. Vote yes changes the Kansas constitutional um, um, changes the Kansas Constitution to say there is no constitutional right to an abortion. If you vote no, you keep the Constitution the same, saying there is a right to an abortion in the state of Kansas. That's what voters are facing with today and polls open in about an hour here and we're going to see what voters say tonight.
Reporting live here in Overland Park, Rebecca Gannon, KNBC 9 News. All right, Rebecca, thank you for spelling all of that out. Well, plenty of local churches have gotten involved in the Value Them Both campaign, and now they're being reminded to take down any signs if they're acting as a polling place. Kansas state law makes it clear that there cannot be any electioneering within 250 feet of a polling place door or within the building of a polling place during election hours. Now, there are other things on the ballot in Kansas. Both parties will choose nominees for governor, lieutenant governor, attorney general, secretary, of state as well as members of the Kansas House. Senator Jerry Moran, he's up for re-election this fall. Now winners in each party move on to the general election this November. To help voters get to the polls, you should know all buses in Lawrence are free to ride today. You can download the My Bus Lawrence app to see the routes and when the buses are arriving. And stay with KMBC 9 News for all of your primary election coverage. We'll bring you the results tonight and tomorrow morning on First News on Air and online at KMBC.com.